All right, so this one. This one's an easy one. I'll do it real, real quick, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll come back and start uh, taking a look at the more detailed one. So this is um, Unix uh, administrator, friend of mine, Hansung. Every time I log in, it takes two minutes. What the hell? So I said, you know better. Like two minutes is an eternity squared for me. There's nothing in the network. I can't even, like, I can circle the earth how many times, right? About 300 milliseconds to go around the world, and you're talking two minutes? You're like six orders of magnitude off. Um, not my problem. I said, check your firewall. Said, There's no firewall. This is from my desktop to the server in the data center, no firewall. I'm like, well, then look for reverse lookup, right? Very common for Unix workstations to do a reverse lookup so they can log you by name and not by IP address. I said, it's a reverse lookup, click. And he called me back and said, dude, I checked. My, my pointer record's fine. Okay. If you don't know what, that, what I'm just talking about, right? Reverse lookup, pointer record, A record, quad A record. Um, read Cricket Lou's book, O'Reilly, DNS and Bind. Why? Because it's an incredibly well-written book. And uh, it, if you read the first couple of chapters, you'll know everything you need to know about using DNS. And NSLOOKUP, by the way, which is very, very part. It's an integral part of your troubleshooting skill set, how to use NSLOOKUP to set the server, different types, different pointers, etc. Okay? So as a troubleshooter, you need to know DNS fairly well. So read Cricket Lou's book. All right. So he said it's not pointer record, so I... Tr I, I do my usual thing, I scroll down, but it's an SSH session, of course it's going to be chatty, of course it's going to be all push bits, of course it's going to be back and forth, not worried about it, okay? Packet loss, is it clean, yes or no? No, squeaky clean, moving on, let's look for the delta, sort by delta, go down, okay. oh, that's interesting, hmm. oh, you know what, hold on. Let's go back, sorry. Am I looking at the right trace? Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the delta column, sorry. Scroll down. Okay, do I see a two minute log delta here? No, but I should, because I know this trace file. I see 3.64 seconds, okay. All right, so let's keep going. Conversation. Let's check the statistic conversations. And no UDP. Oops, sorry. No UDP. That's fine. I see two TCP sections. And then I'm going to check, uh, do it by relative start. And something caught my eye right there. I said, mm, that's interesting. What's interesting? I, I sorted by relative start time. Let me zoom in. Hopefully it zoomed in uh, up there too. Yeah, it did. Okay. After the first one, there's, uh, so relative start, there's duration is 140 seconds, right? So you can see here, um, so hold on, let me go to the different zoom mode here. Okay, so I can use the mouse. Oh, sorry. So relative start, the, tr the whole thing lasted 140 seconds, but 0.69 seconds after that, I had a 16 second connection. Then 16 seconds later, I had a 115 second connection. And then 129 start time, I had a 17 second connection. Stair ladder, right? So I'm like, oh, that's interesting because there's like 140 seconds, but there's one that started at 129 seconds. There's 16 seconds. What is this conversation about? It could be some random users coming to the web, the server as well, right? So let's check. We can check that. Okay. We can check that because actually I can go back to the conversation um, because I can look at what in here? Ports, port number. So random port number, okay, 22. There's my SSA session, okay? There's this and then I was like, what is this? 767, 765, some random port number. I, don't, I didn't remember right off the top of my head, um, but it's a low number. Low port numbers mean what? They're well-known registered port numbers, okay? If only there was a system that I can randomly type in some number and get information out of it. There was a system like that. Um, <laughs> 
You can do name resolution as well. Uh, that's the other option. Uh, I don't believe in written name resolution, so I don't do name resolution. Okay. The other way to see that is flow graph. Why am I doing a flow graph? Because I saw the beginning blocks of connections that are all dependent on one another. What I mean by that is when I clicked on relative start, it said, here's my duration for the whole duration. And then I had chunks of it that started and stopped. After the first one stopped, the second one started, after the second one and third one. So you can look at that by doing flow graph, which is a poor man's way of looking at this uh, sequence. Um, so here's my SSH session that you can see here. This is SSH. And between the client and the server, that's good. But there are other servers that we, we saw here. And as we scroll down, yeah, there's, soon as this happens, this guy's happening, okay? And you scroll down, and I spent a lot of time doing something else. And then I talked to yet another party, serially, serially. And then at the very bottom here, this is my original SSH session. Okay, so let's click on that bad boy because that is packet number, as you can see here, 66. Let's zoom in. Packet number 6652. Okay, 6652, did I say? Okay, all right. And that, sure enough, that's me right there. But look how long it took to get here, 134 seconds. And what did the SA say? It takes about what, two minutes? It's pretty damn close, okay? So then I said, what is that port number? What is that all this intermittent conversation that was happening here, okay? Remember when we looked at the uh, conversation pair? It was TCP port, so let's go back to conversation. Um, TCP port 763. Uh, 765, okay? So if you look that up, it's Yellow Pages. What's Yellow Pages? It's Old Sun Directory Services. So a lot of things went wrong here. Because what happened? Why did this happen? Why did this break? Because it wasn't always like this. It just started. Why did it start? Because some change happened. What changed happened? They decommissioned the yellow pages and they were, everybody was supposed to go to like LDAP, for example. Okay, so the, they went to the yellow pages and was churning, churning, churning. I was like, I can't get out, I can't get out, I don't know what's going on. And then it didn't reset the connection. It did something, but this was nothing more than authentication that went wrong. Okay, now when I first did this, I did a packet capture from his desktop. Because I just said, just TCP dump from your box and give it to me. And there was a big gap. So I kind of cheated because I knew his two, uh, two minutes was real. But there's not a packet loss. And I also did sequence number count. I checked to see if there were any outstanding uh, data out there. Okay, and it was not. Everybody was caught up. So it's not a client delay. It's not a server delay. It's not like I sent 10, 20, 30, 100 bytes and the guy didn't acknowledge me. He acknowledged me. Okay, there are no bytes outstanding on the wire. And then it just stopped for two minutes or so. And then so I said, okay, I gotta move the packet capture to the server, because you told me it's not DNS lookup, and I, sure enough, I did. I queried for the pointer record, and it came right back. Uh, and that's how I captured it. I moved the capture point to the, data, uh, to the server to get a bigger view, and it came out here. Okay, and within a few seconds, we knew what the root cause was. We're going to take a quick break, and then you'll notice that I'm at packet number five, and there's only two more, and then the big, I called it 99 here. Um, so we're going to get into a little bit more detailed packet analysis class, and I'll see you in 15 minutes.